Let's talk about exercise. As human beings, we aren't designed to be sedentary. In fact, inactivity is estimated to kill 3.2 million people a year, with the World Health Organization asserting that physical inactivity constitutes the fourth leading cause of death globally. Our bodies and minds work best when we are active. We should be running up hills, hiking, climbing, swimming, and being in tune with our bodies. By lifting heavy weights, you're actually improving the connection between the muscular system and the central nervous system. This allows your body to recruit muscle fibers, causing muscle tears, which in turn stimulates a higher demand for protein synthesis. It also allows higher levels of testosterone to bind to receptors, aiding in recovery. But what muscle group is the most important? Probably the one you're neglecting most. Look at you, with your tiny chicken legs. Pathetic. Training legs is crucial for increasing testosterone levels. Being such a large muscle group, every time you squat heavy, you have more tears that need to be repaired. This is why leg doms can be so brutal and makes you walk like this. But most exercise can induce testosterone production, with the most effective being HIT. HIT stands for High Intensity Interval Training. This means working as hard as you possibly can for a short and intense period of time. You should work hard enough that you can only sustain the workout that you're doing for around 20 to 30 seconds. These workouts should be short bursts with gruelling intensity. This is because when performing HIT, protein synthesis is greater than protein degradation. Amino acids work to maintain and increase muscle, and more muscle equals more testosterone. The result of this is an anabolic state versus catabolic. Muscle maintenance versus muscle breakdown. Thank you for watching this short video. If you would like to know more about what affects testosterone, then check out my previous videos below. And don't forget to subscribe for more broad-minded content.